Hello guys, it's Lee here. Hope you're having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about um, some of the uh, hardware that you might find useful within your uh, mining uh, rigs. So the actual um, item itself is actually a PCI extender cable. So they come in a few different varieties, um, and I'm just going to be showing those uh, to you guys today. So the first one is a uh, 16 times PCI extender cable. So it looks like that. Um, and then we have another which is a one times cable which looks like that so it's a 16 times on this end and then on the actual connector end it's a one times um, you'll also notice there's a uh, Molex power connector as well um, and a few different sort of options in those so um, I'm just going to be talking to you a little bit about those um, showing you exactly what they're used, how they're used and how they might be useful um, to you so on the right hand side we have a full length uh, cable connector so that's your standard sort of 16 times uh, cable connector, what you'd most likely would find on your motherboard. That's what your graphics card would normally go into, uh, a full size uh, connector there. Next we have to it, um, on the end, the part that actually connects into the actual graphics card itself is still a full, full size um, connector. Um, but on the bottom it actually goes into just a one times um, connector itself. Um, and we've also got a Molex uh, power connector. Um, so this one here, the actual length is actually uh, 15 centimeters uh, in length. Um, this is a uh, 20 centimeter cable. So I'd say these ones are probably about right for, for most normal sort of um, use. And then we have this one, which is the same as the uh, second cable. It's just a little bit longer. And this one's actually a 30 centimeter cable there. So in terms of which cable is um, most uh, useful for you, um, if you're going to be doing any sort of gaming or anything like that, you would want one of these um, 16 times uh, connectors because um, that will give you the full bandwidth of the actual uh, PCI Express slot itself. Um, these ones, you can still use them, you can still get a display from the actual um, uh, graphics card, but they're really more purpose-built specifically for mining. So the other thing that you can also use is, um, and I'll, I'll show you what, in detail on the actual motherboard itself is you can actually also plug these uh, one times connectors into a 16 times connector so I'll show you that uh, with a motherboard in a moment um, but yeah these ones are pretty much the ones that are most common and they're, they're really good I've used them you can use them with and without the actual uh, uh, power connector as well so they're pretty good okay so here we just have a standard uh, basic motherboard it just come out of a Acer um, workstation, nothing special about it at all, um, but it does have a full size uh, PCI Expre uh, Express uh, connector there, and also a one times connector um, on this side as well, and then your regular PCI um, uh, expansion ports there as well. So I'm just going to show you how the uh, different connectors work with the uh, cables and how they can be used. So we've just got uh, the full size um, 16 times connector there. So you just pop it in exactly the same as you would plug in a graphics card. So you just slot it in as normal. And then we can now actually plug in, I've just got a graphics card to the side here. This is a X1950, which is sadly no, no good for very much anymore. Maybe a little bit of gaming, but it is a little bit of a relic now. Weighs a ton as well, the copper in it uh, really weighs it down. Um, so then you would plug in your graphics card. Uh, just let me... Uh, release the actual notch on the back there. So then you plug in your graphics card just like normal and secure that and then what it does is it gives you this um, let me see if I can get a bit better angle on the camera here. So then what it does is it gives you this um, increased height so whereas before you'd be right down here the, the actual you know GPU would be right on the actual board itself you've now sort of extended it so now you've got all this um, extra space to actually use so you can uh, mount the graphics cards up and away from the board and out of the actual the original case itself. So, yeah, now you can see how much um, height difference you're getting, whereas before you'd be right down here and now you're up here. So, this is really effective if you've got um, uh, multiple graphics cards. So, you, maybe from this angle, you can see a little bit more. So, this is only like a 15 centimeter cable, but you can get the, the actual cable lengths in different um, lengths, obviously. Um, and they go up to about, I think the maximum is about uh, 30 or 40 centimetres. I've got a 30 centimetre cable and that gives you um, uh, all the space I think a normal person would kind of uh, need. So that's the uh, 16 times uh, graphics card. I'm just going to unlock that. And um, 
Yeah, so these just plug in and plug it out exactly the same as normal. Okay, so I'll just show you now with the actual uh, the one times um, PCI Express riser. So on the uh, the actual motherboard end, you just have this one times connector. So on your motherboard, it can plug into a one times PCI Express connector, like so. So you should be able to see that. So nothing special or miraculous there. Um, but then what you can do is you can plug in your full time uh, or 16 times graphics card into that connector. So obviously that can go into there. Obviously I've got the lock on slightly now. So that can actually go into there. So what you're getting is like a 16 times full graphics card connector and then it's going into a one times connector. Obviously if you didn't have this uh, uh, connector cable in place, that's obviously not going to fit into that actual socket. So using this, uh, what it means is that you can make use of um, all of your one times uh, PCI Express connectors. So a lot of people think that if you want to get into GPU mining, that you have to find a board with say, you know, three or four of these uh, full length PCI Express connectors, and those boards are really expensive. Um, but what you can actually use is the one times connectors as well. So without too much uh, difficulty, um, what you would need is obviously a uh, one times to 16 times PCI Express um, riser cable. The other thing that you can do with these as well is um, if you've got full size um, slots, you don't need to use um, full size uh, cables like the one that I just showed you. Um, with the one times uh, cables, um, you can also use them in full size slots. So I'm just going to show you the actual matchup there. So obviously here we've got the one times connector, but we can also use this one times connector in a actual uh, full length slot. So you can use those um, basically regardless of whatever slot size you've got. So they're pretty useful. You'll also notice on try it slide into angle. This one also has a Molex uh, power connector. So this is just like an auxiliary uh, power connector. Um, I've used these um, PCI Express riser cables with and without the additional uh, power connector. The only thing I would say is that you probably want to use the additional power if you've got multiple cards coming off a motherboard. Um, the motherboard um, can supply the power that the graphics cards need. Obviously, you're going to have the separate power connectors in there as well. Um, but if you're running, say, you know, four or five graphics cards from a single motherboard, then you probably want to be using these um, supplementary um, or complementary sort of uh, power sources as well. Get those plugged into your power supply, and it'll just take you know the the load off the actual motherboard or the power coming through the motherboard. So that might be useful for you. So there's also a new type of um, PCI Express um, extender cable as well that you want to be um, aware of. Um, I don't actually have any here unfortunately, um, I bought my cables um, quite a long time ago. But there is like a newer format version as well. So the ones that I showed you is this um, 16 to uh, one times connector. And it's just got this uh, grey uh, ribbon cable between the actual, the ends of each end of the actual connector itself. And then you've got this um, Molex power connector. So they're the ones that I've been using. Um, but also to make you aware of, there is a revised version of this kind of format. So what happens is, uh, where you've got this grey uh, ribbon cable in between the two connectors, um, there's a newer one, and what it actually has is a USB cable between the two connectors. So um, this you'll have this section here, and it will go to like an external USB connector. And then you'll have your regular, it's just like a USB extension there that will run in between and then it will go to another USB connector on the actual um, the full size uh, graphics connector as well. And um, also the uh, power connector is also different. On oh, Instead of a Molex connector, they've got serial ATA connectors which can be used just as well. Um, so that's just like an updated version of these um, style connectors. So yeah, if you're looking around to purchase one and you can see those USB sort of style ones, um, then yeah, pick those up and they work um, just exactly the same as uh, these ones. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully it's given you a little insight into how to use PCI Express uh, riser cables, um, the different formats and how they can be used in your uh, mining rigs. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, um, as always, just leave those in the comments box and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Take care.